Today on the Philly Talk Podcast, we got to start with this Adam Schefter tweet. Could Dak Prescott actually suit up against the Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday Night Football now that he's being listed as questionable? We talk about that. The final injury report for the Philadelphia Eagles, D-Law's comments, and could Deshaun Jackson make a return to Philly? This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike. Talking sixes in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see, we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, Eagles fly. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Talk Podcast. And today, we are talking Eagles football on a football Friday. It's been Eagles and Cowboys week, hate Dallas week. And guess what? We've been close to getting 1,000 likes on every video. Let's see if we can do it. Do you hate Dallas? Do you believe we are going to win? Then hit that like button. Also, subscribe and ding the bell so you know when these videos drop. Plus, we trying to grow notification, gang. And check the link in the description. It's a free app called the Chalkboard app. And we chop it up about the Eagles 24-7 behind the YouTube scenes. Let's get into this tweet. So Adam Schefter says Dak Prescott and Mac Jones are both listed as questionable for Sunday's game. Here's my take. All through the week, it's been trending towards, hmm, Dak is actually throwing the ball behind the scenes. First, he could grip it. Then he could throw it. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to get into some more of the reasons why this could be real. But I don't care who plays. I said week three in the NFC East roundtable to CFT that I don't care if Dak or Rush plays. Dak is the better quarterback, no ifs, ands, or buts. It's easier to beat Rush. But Dak did not play good the opening game against Tampa Bay. And he's going to be rusty. So to throw him in with a with a with a bruised thumb against a Philly defense that's undefeated, hungry, and playing at home, well, good luck. Good luck. Cooper Rush, Dak Prescott, I honestly don't care. They're going to have excuses either way. Well, you're supposed to beat us. Rush is our backup. After they were talking trash. He did win four straight. After they were talking trash. If Dak plays and we beat him, well, we rushed him back. His finger wasn't right. He was rusty. Save it. Save it. Get out the smallest violin. Save it. Now, this could be a smokescreen. No doubt about it. Cowboys trying to get the edge. They, they were scared that we're going to... They're talking about maybe Slay's going to play C.D. Lamb. Well, they're panicking. They got their guys coming out saying comments. We'll talk about that. But this could be a smokescreen. Or it could be a decision. I did see an article a couple days ago. Didn't really read it because it's cowboy stuff. I just looked at the headline. And the headline said, Dak Prescott upset with Mike McCarthy's decision to play Cooper Rush. Is it clickbait or was he upset? Seeing that, plus trending towards playing, and now on Friday's injury report, it's questionable. There's a chance. But like I said, I don't care. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you want to play Rush? Do you want to play Dak? Do you not care? Or are you a little nervous if Dak plays? Let me know. Like I said, hit the like if we're going to win. I'm going to hit the like when this is over because I believe we're going to win. Now, moving on to the injury report. All week we've been talking about it. Limited, limited, and now all full participants. Yes, Josh Job and Janarius Robinson are limited, but they're not big contributors. I'm talking Dickerson, Elliott, Gainwell, Johnson, Kelsey, Maddox, Malata, and Sam Malu, all full practices. Hopefully, they don't get nicked up in this game. We do got a bye week. It'd be beautiful to be 6-0. Two weeks to talk about it to get right. And then we'll talk about the schedule later. But it's one game at a time. One game at a time. We talked yesterday about how we should attack the Cowboys. Run the ball first. Then throw it over the top. They think we're going to dump it off a lot of horizontal. We're going to open it up against them. A deep ball will be thrown and completed against the Dallas Cowboys. But I do want to talk about D-Law's comments. Now, he did say that this is the Cowboys' biggest test. But he also started to say stuff like this. They asked him, is Jalen Hurts playing better? 
All you need to write is he hasn't played the Cowboys yet, so we do not know how good he is. Then they kept asking questions about Jalen Hurts, and he said, when asked about, uh, oh, then he said, stop asking me about him. Stop asking me about them. We're not scared of them. We're not scared of them. So he started to get spicy. He started to get spicy. Well, the man has, what, three sacks in his career versus the Eagles? He's never really dominated us. He's talking spicy because he got Micah Parsons over there. But we are going to be healthy on the offensive line. Listen, they're probably not 100%, but they're out there. We're going to have to do some things because their defense is good. It's good. I talked about them doing that against not-so-good offenses thus far this season. That don't mean they're not good, though. You play who you play. And right now, they have one of the best defenses. But they act like we don't have a good defense. That's the crazy part. Cowboy land, you go there, you're not really all the way right here. It is what it is. Lastly, before we get out of here, or maybe touch up on some, what I want to do to Dallas a little bit more. Via Jacob Media, but mainly they got it from uh, uh, the uh, I Am Athlete podcast with Brandon Marshall. So DJAT, the legend himself, was there on I Am Athlete, and he said that he's not retired. He said he's a free agent, and he's going to have the phone lines open for Philadelphia. He did also say Green Bay. He said if Green Bay called me, I might come out and play. And same with Philadelphia. Now, look, I'm not saying go get DJAX. We're good on receivers. However, somebody goes down, this, that, and the third, you never know. He's only a phone call away. And yes, is, will he play all 16 games? No. But if you get him, you put him on ice until you need him. Because still, he can run past DBs. And he's a cowboy killer. For the Christmas game, maybe. Keep him on his show for the Christmas game or on call for the Christmas game. It's still interesting to see that. So back to the Eagles and Cowboys. If Cooper Rush is there, they will throw. The, they will run the ball a lot more. Cooper Rush showed his true colors versus the Los Angeles Rams. Reason they lost the Rams is because the Dallas defense took over. Stafford sack, fumble, sack, fumble. Special teams contributed on a block punt, fumble recovery. The Eagles are going to button that stuff up. I expect the Eagles to run the ball, be balanced, a balance of tacks. Can't with a balance attack, you can't let D Law or Micah Parsons pin their ears and get at Jalen Hurts. The one read quarterback, supposedly. So definitely be balanced. Run at Micah Parsons. Make him wait before he rushes. Make him think. Make him chase. Do all them things. Now, on the flip side, I want pressure, pressure, pressure. If Dak plays, you still put pressure. But if he plays, you got to be different with the pressure. Because he can extend plays a little bit longer than Cooper Rush. And he's a better player than Cooper Rush. But not enough to make me change my pick. Or even, I don't think the line's going to go much down. Because he did not show 2021 Dak Prescott week one. And anybody coming back from the thumb first game. Against this defense? Like I said, I'm not worried. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section on everything we talked about. DJX, D-Law's comments, the injury report, nice little clean bill of health. And do you think Dak Prescott will play, should play, or is it a smokescreen? Give me all your thoughts because I love hearing from you, Eagle Nation. Eagle fans know football. We know it. We watch it. We live it. We breathe it. It's just what we do. Help your boy out if you haven't done it. Last couple videos with the Dallas hate. We almost got 1,000 likes. We just keep missing it. Hit it for your boy. Subscribe. We just got over 26K. That's y'all. And let's keep growing notification. Gang, click the bell. If it's already hit, undo it. Redo it. You know how YouTube is sometimes. Until next time, y'all know what time it is. We out. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Chris, I didn't forget you. I'm going to message you today. It's been a crazy week with all this Dallas stuff. I'm going to message you today, get you your 25. My bad, my bad, my bad. I appreciate y'all. We out.